Hi everyone, in this section I'm going to configure the fabric policy in order to support two types of topologies. The first topology consists on web EPG which is going to be connected to leaf 101 on port 13 on VLAN 80. The DB EPG which is going to be connected to leaf 101 on port 11 on VLAN 200. The R80 gateway which is going to be connected to leaf 101 on port 12 on VLAN 60. Let's switch to the EPIC web UI and start configure the fabric access policy. We are starting with configure the physical domain. We will give it a name. Create an EAP. We are also going to create a villain pool. Now I'm going to create leaf access port policy group. I'm going to associate it with the AP that I have already created. Next, I'm going to create leaf interface profile. In the beginning of this movie, you saw uh, the network diagram. I'm going to use interfaces 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 3. And I'm associating it with the interface policy group that I have already created. The last one is the leaf profile. Now I'm going to connect between the leaf and the interface profile that I've already created. We've just uh, finished to create the first topology, let's move on and create the second topology. In this topology I also have a web and a DB EPG. This time they are connected to leaf 102 and use different static uh, VLANs than the topology that we have just created. We have also an R8010 V6 gateway which is connected uh, to a trunk port. Also connected to leaf 102 and I'm going to create dynamic VLANs for the auto deployment mode. So basically I'm going to repeat the same steps, 
the only changes are in the villains and the leaf profile which is now leaf 102 instead of uh, 101. So we finished the fabric side, in the next section I'm going to build a tenant with all the required objects, EPG, contracts, bridge domains and so on, and I'm going to integrate the checkpoint R80 gateway, R8010 gateway with the fabric in auto deployment mode, stay tuned.